everyone welcome or welcome back to my island litwick we have so much to do we do and i don't know how this video is going to come out today but i'm going to do my best to fit as much in as possible so let's get to it so we're going to be starting off with nook's cranny i have laid out a bunch of stuff I went to Treasure Islands, I ordered loads of things for this house as well, and all the other houses that I have left, and I forgot the campsite, of course I did. Don't know where that's gonna go, that might end up just living on the beach not being decorated, but there's nothing you do about it. Anyway, let's get to work, we're doing Nook's Cranny today. I have a week to get this island finished, and I plan to have it finished, don't all do that. You don't want to use the drop box, go away, nah, not now. So we want to put down the wood coat that we've been using all around my island, we're just gonna slap that down on the floor. Oh gosh, we got my house to do as well, wow, we have so much, let's get to it. Like I said, I don't know how this video is going to come out today, I'm gonna do my best to fit as much as possible but also keep it as short as i can you know so for nook's cranny all we want to do is build a potion shop and we're going to do that by like i said starting to put this wood code down first i think after this build we're going to go to up there up on the incline i think i'm going to leave this house because i haven't finished ordering all the bits for it and i could probably do that with my house basically i have a week as of this moment in time i have a week left to finish this island and i am determined to get it done i know some of you have been really sweet and really kind to me in the comments i'm like don't worry don't stress get it done when you get it done and giving me ideas of how i can finish it but honestly you're all so kind and so lovely i just want to get it done also quick little disclaimer all those that are missing out on my streaming i plan to come back I plan to come back to streaming as soon as I finish this island. I am coming back. All my time, all my spare time is literally being spent building this. Obviously, I'm taking time for myself and I'm taking time to rest and, you know, self-care and all that. But I am spending a lot of time just building on this island and also trying to get other content out too. Uh, so it's taking a long time. Anyway, let's yap in more placing because I could probably talk forever. I'm going to finish all the little detailed areas by myself. So anywhere that I need to fill out with loads of trees and things like that will be done in my own time because i can just sit in bed and do it or sit on the sofa sit there and do it it's easier rather than record it but i wanted to record the main build processes for you so we're going to be doing today nook's cranny and then a couple of villagers and then i'm going to do a part two to this big build elaborate thing that i'm doing and we'll do that next next video so that'll probably be sunday All right so i want to get these wooden bookshelves how many did i get three four five I thought I had more than five. I do. I have six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine. I don't know why I have nine. Oh, well. Nine will do. We just want to pop in some wooden bookshelves all along here. I think this isn't going to fit. Oh, no. Right. Pull it. Oh, no, I can't. I got to push you out. Or pull you out, rather. And then, oh, do you know what? It's easier to pick it up. <laughs> But yeah, I just really want to get this island done. So we're going to do all the main builds, all the main bits, and then the rest of it I'm just going to do on my own time. I want this island ready for you to tour at Halloween. All right, there we go. We want to pop these all around nooks cranny like so. I know it doesn't fully cover it up, but honestly, it still looks good. I mean, I still like it. I, I think it still looks fun. Why can't I push it over even more? Let's try again. There we go. We like that. Oh, what I could do is add another bookshelf and another bookshelf. So it looks like it's the walkway into Nook's Cranny. You know, it's something. I think I might stick some medieval walls down here. I don't even know where my storage shed is. Wait, where is it? I've got to find it. I think we left it down by Kiki's house, which means I'm going the wrong way. Look at all this stuff I've ordered. Honestly, it's taken so long and I've still got to order some more. So here was Kiki's. Where is it? Oh, wait, I was scanning in villages. I know where it is. It's down by the campsite. My house is going to be the last thing I do, by the way. All those bushes and flowers are in the way. Oh, yes. Somebody is moving in. Good. Back we go. Oh, I don't even have my shovel or my ladder. By the way, we have a lot to do. So today I'm hoping to do Nook's Cranny, like I said. Hoping to do probably stitches because I've moved stitches in. It doesn't make sense right now, but it will do. And the villager that replaced Ankara, we're doing that one today as well. And that is Biscuit. And then I think I might try and do Roscoe as well, because he's our other villager that we have. And then that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk of stuff we would have done today. So I'm going to try and do all those. And then in our next video, I'm going to try and do Tabby, my house, and whatever's left. I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'll see how much I get done. Anyway, now we've got this. We're making progress. Roscoe doesn't really have a lot of space. But honestly, I think that's okay. Vintage stool. What am I doing? I need some tables. Give me tables. Oh, wait medicine chest i want to use those honestly this isn't the way i always build but hey if it if it works for now no way i have two medieval walls you can't make that up oh that's a medicine chest i was hoping i had two and i do so one can go there and then the other one can go there perfect although it is a little bit sticky outy can i pull it down probably not you know what it is fine at the end of the day, it is fine. It's not that bad. Oh no, that's not the right way around. What is it doing? I want to pop a medicine chest in here. I did want it to go in sideways, but you know, just spacing. Like if I push this back, we have a gap. Unless I, wait, unless I do this. You know, every time you see people do challenges for like, oh, let me do my island in, in 30 days. Now is a new challenge. It's called speed run. You know, what? I'm going to put them the other way. This is ACNH speed running. See, now I just want to push it back though. Oh, it's going to bug me so bad. Right, just do it. Just stop whinging. But yeah, don't worry. I will be back streaming for all those that missed the streams. I miss streaming. I just, I needed extra time off and I needed to get this island done. So, you know, if you've got to, you got to. Let's go back over here. Medicine chest can go in here, like so. To be honest, we could probably stick them along here. Although, no, I don't like it. It just feels cluttered up. I like all the books, by the way. It makes it look very busy. Right, project tables. One project table. And then we're going to put another one right here. I haven't actually said what we're building. Go me. Once again, I forget to tell you what we're doing. It happens all the time now, right? We're building a potions shop kind of thing. Well, I have more project tables. That's good. So, yeah, we're building a potion shop. We've got these soup kettles because they're like the closest thing we have to a small cauldron to go on the table. I was thinking of using the pot, but honestly, it doesn't look as good. We just want to move that round. I have some more, but first of all, I want to get the other pieces on the table. We got stools. I don't know where I was planning to put stools. There is no room for stools. There's homework set and I want to put another one of those over here, like so. Bottled beverage, you know, because why not? I will stick another one somewhere else in a second, but I want to see what other bits I have. Other than soup kettles, oh, we got scrapbook. Might use the other, whatchamacallies, the other project tables. Also, I'm going to push this right up. I think it will look better. Trust me. We trust the process here, remember? Even though it looks weird at first, trust the process and it will be fine. Like, this can move up. And we can get another table in. Like, I'm pretty sure if we move it correctly, we'll get another one in. And still be able to get through. Oh, no, it's a wiggle moment. Push it down. There you go. So we got a scrapbook. Let's chuck in a cauldron. So we've got the suspicious cauldron, of course, for making potions. Oh, yes, another soup kettle. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wanted it to go on this table, but okay. This is going to be a lot of me wandering around, picking up stuff off my floor. We got the mixer. We got a stack of books to go on there. This is looking okay so far. I like it. Oh, I have another cauldron. That'd be perfect. Actually, let's get the stools in first. I got some vintage stools because, you know, they got to have somewhere to sit. Oh, that went in the wrong place. Of course it did. Give it a push. Another vintage stall. Let's chuck the suspicious cauldron there. Ooh, yes, another soup kettle. I think I'm going to put it over this side. Oh, it's not going to let me, of course, do it here. There you go. See, they look like little cauldrons. I love them. I'm going to put Libra scales down for you to measure your ingredients. Oh, and we need these bottles. Decorative bottles we need. They're blue. It says they're green. We had this issue before. Honestly, though, they don't look that bad, so I'm not going to complain too much. We want the wooden bucket on the floor. Okay, I have some more chairs. Chuck one in there. One over here. Another one there. And I think that's okay, actually. Do you know what? I don't like the bucket. And you can't get past this stool, so it's going to bug me. That's going to have to go too. I think just those. You know, you don't want to overdo it. I want to partition it off, so we're going to use plant partitions. So there's one plant partition. We're just going to push up as far as possible. Another one. This is another reason why I didn't want too many chairs. Can you get in though? Oh, no. See, I'm going to have to move the cauldron. That's so sad. No. I guess we could put it there or I could just put it back and put the plant partition this side. Put the cauldron back. 
Yeah, see? So you can get in, it's okay. This is a very small bit over here. It looks bigger than it is, but you can't put too much because of the spacing of the wall. So let's make do with the space we have. We got these milk cans, so they look like they can be filled with potions. And some books, because then it looks potion-y. Let's place a little ant on there just for a little bit more fun. And then I think that's probably what we're going to do for Nook's Cranny. Now, normally in my builds, I would decorate the area down here. But we're in a hurry and I'm going to be doing these bits off camera very quickly. With probably mainly just trees and flowers and pumpkins. Although there's no pumpkins. I need to add a pumpkin quick. It's the rules. You know what's even funnier? This took me 20 minutes. <laughs> like, I know I already had the road on the floor, but it took 20 minutes. Let's go. We are on a roll. I'm like, do I need more pumpkins? You know what? I'm probably going to fill out all this with loads of pumpkins. I don't have enough to do that now. I'm going to have to just do the main builds. Like I said, I'm going to show you how I do the main builds. And then when you visit the island and see the final tour, it'll be full of pumpkins. It's just, I don't have enough of my storage at the moment. Anyway, let's grab our things. So let's grab our DIY table and our storage shed and head to the next area. I'm not going to lie. I'm not looking forward to this area. <laughs> this area is huge huge look at the size of it what is a girl to do oh my gosh <laughs> it's massive we might only end up doing this area and then leaving biscuit for the next area i don't know let's just see how it goes there goes our workbench and our storage shed let us get to it okay so stitches has a little bit of a creepier side he does i do need to customize his exterior of his house but well we'll worry about that later i haven't put any trees down in this video yet because i don't have any back there is kiki's house as you can see i've put trees down i just need to add some flowers and some bushes and also finish packing this out a little bit but i think we need fencing actually no we don't we need flooring so stitches has got a bit of a dark side to him I know he doesn't look like he does, but in our world, he does. I'm going to leave this back bit so I can make a cute walkway. So I want to maybe start there. I think that'd be a good shout. I did want to stick walls down, but I think they're going to block too much. I think we should try it anyway. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight is enough. We might need nine just so we've got the spacing. And then going down, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna have to be six. I don't know if that's six. I definitely messed up my counting there. All right, there's that for now. Let's get some walls from my shed. I only have five. Looks like we're going back to a treasure island at some point. Can you still see behind though? Oh, you kind of can. By the way, I just sneezed and now I sound bunged up. So that's fabulous. Don't you hate that when you sneeze at the worst times? Yeah, I'm going to need more walls because that's all I have. But let's decorate before we go get the walls because I feel like I can decorate without needing those. So what is Stitch's dark story, you might ask? He turns people into plushies. Yep, this cute, lovable bear. He gets you to be his friend and then he turns you into a plushie. So all these, all these plushies you see, they used to be other residents, no lie. No light. You see that one right there with the eye patch? That used to be chops. Oh, what we should do is do another wall so you can't see. But then I'm like, this should be the factory. And then I would have done inside his house. I would have done the shop. I think I'm going to move this one, by the way. Pop it there instead. So basically, the conveyor belt is easy. You go on the conveyor belt, which is around the wrong way. You get popped on the conveyor belt. This isn't all going to fit. Oh, no. Right, let's make this smaller doesn't need to be that big oh it's still too too big okay i know what to do i know exactly what to do give these a spin but then you can't see them okay plan b put the dreamy shelves back pull this forward and then do it that way so do three pull it forward actually don't push it back one because we have the space pull this forward oh wait we could have done this my brain is stupid pull it forward we could have just put it in front why didn't i think of that we're going to put another conveyor about here. Oh no, it's around the wrong way again. And we want another one. Although I feel like I should decorate it first. If we decorate it first, so if we leave enough space, decorate it first and then push them back. Ta-da! Right, let's get more things. Oh, here he is. <laughs> He's the crazy bear himself. We're going to pop a skeleton. And then this skull like that. And then we just want to pop bears and rabbits. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever done this for Stitches before. Let me know. Have you ever given Stitches a really dark backstory? If so, I want to know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Is he gone in his house? He did. He went in his house. He was like, oh, 
They know what I'm up to. We do. We know. I think this looks pretty pretty convincing. I'm going to push it back at one more as well. So it looks more like a factory and it gives us more space. Although I could probably bring it down to be honest. We could probably just make this area a little bit bigger. I just really want to fit my table in because I've got a table I want to use with sewing stuff on so i want to put that down by the way we're making good time we are we're making really good time for this video so i'm pleased let's get the stuff so actually i think i want to go back in here and add the other dreamy shelves so they're either side leave that one like that so i can go get a plushie in a second these are the messiest builds you'll ever see the thing is normally i like to do it a bit slower so that you know if you're trying to recreate it on your island it's easy to do so but we're in a rush like we're in a hurry to finish this for halloween and i'm going to get it done <laughs> so we have various sewing machines we have two different colors sewing projects a sturdy sewing box and a different color one just filling out these tables I might even get some more of these skulls and place them around just to make it a little bit more creepier. We want to put him on the shelf. Give him a spin. I was thinking of putting some benches down, but I don't have the room, honestly. Instead, I have hedge standees in white so it looks like fluff. So it looks like teddy bear stuffing. If we stick that here, there and everywhere. I don't think you can stick it on top of stuff though. So it's literally going to have to just go on the floor. I think it looks cute though, you know, as cute as it could be, even though it's pretty, uh, pretty a dark story. I'm not about to go and get castle walls yet. I want to sort out his actual yard area because I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to have to like incorporate the back part into it. So maybe pathway first. I think to be honest, we should make it as inviting as possible. You know, Stitches is your friend. He's your sweet friend. He doesn't want to turn you into a plushie. Not at all. Oh, why are we doing walkway right to it? I think if I just carry it onto here and then get some fencing. By the way, trees will make this. Like I said, trust the process. Please trust the process. Right now, this looks not good. It looks really separated and strange. That's that bit done. And then I'm going to do trees, bushes, pumpkins, everything going all around here. A pathway leading to this area. Fill out this with maybe a little viewing seating spot that could be kind of cute and then down here i'm probably gonna carry on the road and then make it look like it's broken because that seems to be my favorite thing to do this is going to be kind of a land bridge it's going to be a walkway and then over here is biscuit's house so actually yeah let's just do the trees and stuff i'm gonna quickly run off to a treasure island grab all the trees that i need and start filling it out the spots that i want to put trees because it's really hard to function and see how I want it to look without the trees. It sounds stupid, but it, it's how it is. So I'll be right back. I'm back with trees. Let's get placing them. So we want to do stitches area more than anything because the nook's cranny area didn't look that bad without the trees, but I feel like we desperately need them to decorate this area. So let's put them down. Oh, it, that, that's going to block what we have. Oh, it's okay. It's not too bad. Also, I did go get the walls, but I'm having a horrible feeling they're not going to fit. They're not going to fit this side. Oh, they are. Goody, goody, goody. I'm glad. I honestly was worried then. Oh, that, was, that one's not right. We got to push it up a little bit more. There. Perfect. I think we could probably stick a tree in here. Oh no, I got to do pathway though. I right, kick this bit. Tree. <laughs> you know me and my trees. Now I've got to try and get over this way, put the castle walls down. This will look so much better at nighttime. Like the creepiness of it all, I'm hoping, will be intensified because it's night. Another tree. I'm trying to stick another tree in. Oh, it's going to have to go here. Well, there you go. Our Animal Crossing speed running is going well. Another tree. I also grabbed some bushes while I was there because I need to put some of those down. But I'm not too fussed about this side. Because like I said, this is Stitch's yard. This is what we want to do. We want to do this bit. I think actually I'm going to change the pathway. I think I want to change the pathway so that it goes down here instead of right next to his house. or outside his door. Because I feel like that's a little weird. That's a little strange. Maybe like here instead. So bring it all the way across. Also, I'm going to have to sort out a pathway going up this way. Are you kidding me? Right now, what I want to do is grab our hedging and just go along the front here and the side and just add the hedging. Although I can't because of the pathway needs to go here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. You know, when you feel like you haven't 
you, you've kind of messed up a little bit. I could have probably moved all of this over a little bit and it would have been a lot nicer to have, but oops, oopsie. Wow, look at his cute inviting home. <laughs> come to the back, come see my factory where I'm going to turn you into a plushie. I think I'm going to have some more hedge standees outside. I mean, I, I know it's all outside, but just like this. Like, I think that's fun. Although this one has to move over to here. Oh, because he's a teddy bear, I thought tree standy. I love this dandy furniture anyway, as it is. So I just have to put it next to his house. Right, leave this as a gap because I'm going to need to get through there to decorate. Oh, I have a DIY workbench. We got some more bears. I guess we could add those in places. Should we just add them outside his house? Just to be creepy. They're just outside his house. I have a log bench. I don't like that. I think I'm just going to fill his yard with flowers and plushies. He just has them in the garden. <laughs> okay, all of this is making me laugh. It's just so funny. It's just such a stupid idea, but I love it. Like I'm saying to you though, please trust the process. I know this doesn't look like the best of builds that I do normally, but I need to fill in all the gaps. We need to fill in all the little spots before it's complete. And that includes doing things like what I'm doing now, putting down these hedges. And then putting spooky fence down too and adding bushes and trees. I'm doing the best with what I've got left time-wise. Oh, you know what could make Stitch's yard look even better if we put down some leaves? It would definitely fill it out a little bit more and look a little bit less plain. And then of course I will be going back through with my lovely favourite item in the whole world, we filled. See, normally I'd probably really focus on the yard and making the yard look really cute, but time is of the essence. I think it looks okay. I like it. The pathway will go up here, like I said, and it will bring you around here and do this. Probably, unfortunately. Oh no, I said I was going to do this as a viewing area, didn't I? That's fine then. We can leave that for now. And this will probably be a walkway <laughs> of some kind. It will go to like here and then you won't be able to go through here because I'm going to block that off too. But I think that's good for Stitch's yard, you know. I think we did all right. We did good. We have to do this one now. Oh gosh, this is biscuit. This is huge. Maybe we won't do biscuit. I think what I might do is quickly do a little bit of a tidy up, get the rest of Roscoe's stuff and do Roscoe's house because his house is only small. So be right back. Okay, actually, change of plan. I want to build his area first because the last few items that I need to order, I don't even know if they're going to fit. They're nothing that's going to be design changing. So I'm going to build his area because look how small it is. It's tiny. He also is going to be having this. This lovely code we have here. Imagine living next door to a potion shop. By the way, Roscoe's story is also another dark tale. It is. I'm going to put a tree here. He's a vampire. He is, but he's one of those vampires that lures you in and you think, oh, he's lovely, he's friendly, don't know he's a vampire, and then the next thing you know, bam, he, he's biting you. <laughs> That's our Roscoe. Also realise there's no stairs down to my house area. Well, I'm planning on putting my house down there. There's no stairs. So I'm going to have to use ladders because I can't use any more inclines because I've already used 10. <laughs> but yeah, this will probably be the last bit we do today. And then I'll fill out all the little tiny pieces and then come back to do the other builds that we've got. Okay, just because I feel like I should say, even though it doesn't really matter, was when I, when I started this island, I was like, yeah, we're not going to rush this island at all. It's going to be great. Oh, I don't have a table. I guess I could use this as the table though, right? the table there but yes i said i wasn't going to rush this island and i wasn't but i missed out on building for three weeks because i was away so yeah that is why i'm rushing to get it done i've right, got two chairs to go either side of this table i think this works actually it looks very fancy once again I have way too much stuff we've got a cherry smoothie oh wait it needs to be around the other way you can't see the cherry <laughs> cherry smoothie oh it's gonna have to be this end i love that he's garnished this drink that clearly isn't cherry but yeah we're, we're pretending it's not really cherry with a cherry he's garnished it with a cherry same with this pie it's a hundred percent a cherry pie <laughs> i have some sofas it's kind of almost like he's got a... Oh, wait, we want to customise that. He's got a fancy lounge set up outside because, you know, posh Roscoe. In goes our sofa on that side. Oh, the problem is if I stick it there, you're not going to be able to get through, are you? No, see? Meanies. Can we maybe pop it here? Push it in. Eh. 
It looks better. I'm wondering if I have another table. I desperately need one. I do have another table. I have the iron garden table. Look at me be fancy. Also, I thought this was quite fancy for the outside. Maybe we could stick a pumpkin on there. Glowing moss jar on the floor. Of course, it's uh, cherry red. Oh, wait. I was going to do this. Pick this up. A ring because he's fancy. Look, he's fancy. He wants you to marry him so that you'll be his vampire prince or princess lovely bouquet oh my gosh this is so weird i've never done anything like this i kind of want to do a whole island like this imagine doing a whole vampire island that'd be so fun i've got loads of other stuff i want to put down but i honestly just don't have the room it's okay though it's fine we'll just pick all this up and put it away but yeah i love the idea of doing a black and red island that's kind of intriguing to me not normally my color scheme i'm definitely more of a, a brighter colored person i like brighter colors but i don't know maybe doing something completely different would be fun for me not that I'm planning on doing it next, of course. I'm not doing that next. Next, I'm doing a winter island. We are 100% planning the winter cutesy island and it's going to be perfect. All right, now that we've done that, I feel like he needs some flowers and bushes. I've got loads of flowers down here, but they're just spreading. Look at them go. They're spreading so badly. <laughs> different colors and everything and i'm gonna need to go get some more flowers to finish off my island but i think we made great progress today we did three areas we did nook's cranny we did stitches we did what's his name rosco i was gonna call him roswell and it came out rosco so rosco is his name and it, what's his name rosco it is rosco what am i saying don't worry i'm having a moment you know when your brain just doesn't brain yeah my brain is not raining like i said i'm not gonna be able to go too crazy with the flowers i will be getting some what they call leaf piles and sticking them around because i feel like that will help add to our our vibe we've got going on it will add to everything but literally these flowers are just going to be spread like here and there and that's it because because otherwise it would take me so long to do. All right, we need some pumpkins at least before we finish. You know, he still celebrates Halloween. There, and I'll probably add even more along this road just to make it look a bit more Halloween-y rather than just spooky. And obviously, like I said, leaf piles. But what I'm gonna do is instead of walking around the area we've done today, I'm gonna leave it at that because it's not finished, but I wanted to show you the main build and not just the bits where I'm putting down the trees and the flowers because we have so much left to do still. In our next video, which will be the last build video, I think, unless I do another one, but I don't think so. Uh, we're going to do my house and Biscuit's house, and I think that's it. I know I have the campsite, but honestly don't think I'm going to get the campsite in anywhere, but you never know. So that's what we'll be doing in our last video, and then, then the island should be done. So there'll be like little bits like this that I haven't finished. And then, oh wait, we've got Tabby to do. Sorry, tell a lie, we've got Tabby as well. So we've got three houses left to do, and then we should be done. And then, yeah we'll do the final tour and that's when you'll see everything finished thank you all for hanging out with me i'm sorry it was a random video i just didn't want to build it all off camera and not have anything to show like of the last like six builds that i have left to do so i hope this video was okay and remember if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jellybean family and i hope you have the most wonderful days and i will see you in my next one goodbye